Hello everyone, my name's Adam Marie Vox. Welcome back to another tutorial. Here I'm going to show you the easiest way, in my opinion, to download files, mass files, off of a WD My Cloud Drive. Now, the reason you might want to do this is because, in my experience, accessing it through Windows, through like mounting the Windows folder or trying to even get it to load as a computer or a file share within native Windows networking, super unreliable with these drives. Now, I originally went in here and started a copy of 1.2 terabytes, and before it even got through 500 megabytes of files, the WD drive just disappeared off the network temporarily, and I was unable to access it until I fully rebooted it. Very annoying. What seems to be working, however, is copying files via FTP, but that's not enabled by default. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So first and foremost, you need to access the web UI for your hard drive. if you haven't already. Now, if you don't know how to get to that, then you need to go to Windows Explorer, go to Network, find the name of your hard drive. For mine, it's this NAS2-2 TV down here. Right click, and that's under storage, not under computer. It's got to be under storage. Right click, go to View Device Web Page. That's going to bring you to the IP address of the hard drive. Now, in order to set up a reliable FTP server for it, in my opinion, you need to go to settings, network, and give it a static IP address. And originally, it's on DHCP. Go to static, and then go ahead and just give it the IP address that it's already assigned here. That way, you know it's not being used for something else. I can't do it right now because files are copying, but you click static, and then it just asks for an IP address, and then the subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0, and then the default gateway, which if you want to find that out, the default gateway is your router. And if you want to find out what that is, open up the command prompt and just type in IP config and then scroll up to where it has a default gateway. So that IP address is your router and that is the subnet mask. So for mask or for network mask, put the 255, 255, 255, 0. And then for the default gateway, whatever number is here, mine is 192.168.0.1, but for yours, it might be something a little different and click apply and then enable FTP access with this button and tell it OK. Now you will need a user account with a password. So make sure you have a user set up here with a password. Then you can use either an FTP client like FileZilla and simply type in the IP address of the hard drive along with your username and password and hit enter or quick connect and it will allow you to directly access the files directly on the hard drive. Or if you're using some other form of mounting, for example, in my QNAP in a in network attached storage here, I'm actually able to mount the FTP server as a folder in the file manager. And so I was able to directly copy from the NAT, from the my cloud drive to my QNAP NAS and directly copy the files, which means that there's no slower network speed by having to copy from the WD drive to my computer to the QNAP. It's just straight and it's copying a lot faster. It's already copied almost 20 gigs in like five minutes. It's going straight through the network. So it is a lot faster and more reliable. And so far it hasn't disconnected or anything. This is a fairly specific tutorial to show you something very specific, but I just wanted to show you how to set this up as it was an issue plaguing me. I will have a, my review of my experiences with the WD My Cloud and My Book Live drives coming very shortly as I've not enjoyed my time with them very much, but I haven't had some of the newer ones. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and otherwise, I will catch you in a future video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. I also want to take a moment to give a huge thanks and shout out to our recent Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, these videos would not be possible, and I thoroughly appreciate your help. Visit patreon.com slash to learn more.